Hi, today I want to show you how you can split your geometry using the color or with the paint node. This can be very useful if you have topology with high polygon count, for example. So as my input geometry, I'm using the test geometry, the, the, the crack. I just unpacked it because this one is uh, packed. So convert it so I can so I can select the polygons. Like for example, in here, you see I can only sec select the uh, big parts. So unpack it, convert it, so I can select the polygons and delete some attributes. To create the colors, you can use the attribute paint node. So let's do that now. So paint color. Cut it. And uh, now we can uh, paint the colors. So I'm going to choose, for example, a red one. And now we can paint the color. The only thing uh, you need to do is change the soft edge because as you can see now we're creating you see this this blend and you don't want that because that will count as a separate color so this would be like a white then this would be like a rouge and a, like a light red and uh, you don't want that so make sure so make sure to uh, set the soft edge to zero this will this way you only paint uh, full values and you will have no transitions so this is what you want all right and uh, once you're done it can look something like this and then now we need to split the geometry okay so the first thing you might think of for when splitting geometry is promote the attribute because you uh, with the paint node you can only paint on uh, on the points you can't i'm pretty sure you can't paint on uh, on the polygons or you know on the faces so not then you need to convert it and from from the point attribute to the primitive attribute now and uh, so what your first first thought might be okay so let's use a po attribute promote and we'll promote this attribute from points to primitives but what you will get is none of the methods really uh, work because for example the default is average so uh, you don't want that that doesn't quite work you'll get something like this you'll get many divisions because the the edges are blurred so that's not good uh, other thing like maximum you see that doesn't quite work and I'll show you why in a second minimum also doesn't work Average, nope. Uh, some, nope. A first match um, kind of works, but you, as you as you see, you get these kind of jagged edges. And uh, with the other approach, we will get a lot smoother edges that represent the the shape. Uh, I think a little bit better. So you can see it especially, for example, in here. You see, you get this wild edge, which you can do with this method, and it's much better. So none of the methods with the uh, attribute promote quite work, and I think it is because we're you're dealing with uh, numbers, with values. So if we go in here, you see the point attributes. There are numbers. It's a vector. And uh, let's examine, for example, this one. When you have the method set to average, or let's go, let's go to maximum, for example. That's also quite easy. So it kind of works on this. Uh, it kind of works well on this uh, this uh, transition where it goes from white to to red. As you can see works quite well but 
it doesn't work uh, with with this when you go to two colors like uh, green and red but you don't have this this kind of halo in here and the reason is because well, we'll look at this example so currently you just show only selected so currently you have on the red you have a a color attribute and it's wait a second like this okay so you have a color attribute and it's obviously red so one zero and zero the the color attributes goes from goes from zero to one so one means it's like full red and this uh, green is uh, zero one and zero so and uh, when you use the promote function and set it to maximum it will do uh, the following it will take it for this uh, face it will try to assign uh, one one value so it will try to combine these four values in uh, this promotion method and if you choose maximum it will take the numbers uh, these values and these values and it will pick the maximum from each of these so if we unhide it and we go to to the primitives now you'll see it picked the maximum from each channel and that's why you get a new color and that's why it doesn't quite work and uh, for this ones the last match or first match it doesn't work because it just goes through the points and the first i guess the first one he sees he he, he just picks it and that will be that will be the color that he assigns so that's not very good we have to deal with this with some other way maybe slightly more complicated but it's it's actually fairly easy so in the previous versions you could do a partition the only thing uh, to use this node you, you can do it actually even with one wrangle node but uh, for, for people who don't like coding who don't know how to code this was actually very good because here's a predefined function group by color and uh, you could use this to to create uh, groups you see you see it creates uh, groups and uh, from from the colors so it was actually very handy for people who couldn't code and uh, they could just uh, use this preset and then from from these groups you could create a, an attribute and from this attribute we could we could split I need it. Okay, so I need promote. We could split the geometry, but because this node isn't here anymore, um, I I don't know how to do it another way. I just know how to do it in the regular with a little bit of coding. So I'll leave the code uh, in the video description so you can just copy it. But it's it's actually very simple. It's it just looks a little bit complicated so let me explain it so basically this one is the part of the code that is interesting for us and uh, it's it's actually two functions we'll will well, and obviously we'll repeat it for every channel so one two three and it's the same so we'll take the the red channel from the color multiply it by some number i choose uh, 255 because it was also in the previous one and i think this number represents the if if you if you have an 8-bit number you have 256 levels so the numbering goes from zero so that would account to 256 but 
you can choose you can choose I think any number like a hundred will be fine the thing is just to to because the 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 red channel from the color it goes from zero to one let me just comment it so it doesn't give us errors it goes from zero to one and this this function will round the number so we, you would get only zero and one and that wouldn't work so if you, if you multiply the number let's say by 100 now you get instead of 0 0.1 which will, would be rounded to zero now you get like 10 which is round, rounded to 10 if there's like if the number is let's say 0 0.11 multiplied by 10 and uh, by 100 and you get the number 11 which also gets rounded to to 11 but if you would have uh, something like 0 0.111 multiplied by 100 you get 11.1 .1, and that will be rounded to 11 so this is just to prevent that you don't have like if, if, if there's slight change in in the color that you don't have a different different group for it that's all that's all it, it actually should work without it without this this rind function but it's it's just to reduce the number of groups that will be created by with, with the rounding and this function actually just converts a number in an integer to a string so that's all it 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 just changes changes it from from a number to a a text and that's it and that's uh why this will work because we will change the red channel to a string for a green channel for to a string and the and the blue channel to a string the blue channel and the green channel to a string and we will get something like this which is only a text it it doesn't represent any number now it only looks like sort of a number but now if we would promote this attribute so we created this attribute my color with this and we added some uh, some string in in the front and we will get this kind of attribute and if we promote it from points to primitives you you uh, the promotion method I think now it won't do much because it's, it's a string and uh, this only applies to to numbers and I mean how, if you would have a string that is uh, called ABC and uh, a string that is called color how do you how do you do an average between them you you, you can't like what would you sec select every second uh, letter uh, that this just doesn't make any sense so now i feel like the promotion method works in a way that it actually takes the last string and it applies it to to that uh, primitive and in this way it works actually very consistent because you have if if we if it has to choose between one and the other value it will always always choose uh, the same value because it's always the longest string and it, it cannot like do averages between them and it, it just works it just only picks uh, one value and it Fix one consistent value, and that's why this method works. So now, if if you you see like between the green and the red, it always chooses it always chooses to put it into the red group. And I think it is because if if you look at this red number, it's uh, it's two five five zero zero. And this is zero zero two five five, and I think that uh, it we we have we can ignore this color underscore because it's the same for both of them, 
and I think uh, if if he had if he has to choose between two, which is at the beginning of, of this uh, part of uh, numbers, of this 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 text part, if he ha has to choose between uh, two and zero, it will go for two later. So it will be the last string that he touches, and that's why he assigns it to to the red group as you can see here's the here's the border and it just assigns it, it assigns it to the red group and similarly for this let's examine zero zero and this one has starts with two five five so that would make sense again in here it's it goes with the white one with the white color here's the green starts with zero zero so again makes sense and this one again white and uh, this bluish uh, this uh, violet color go starts with one and two so it, i think it makes sense that it, it just goes with the with the last uh, last string it touches so again this goes to the white color because this is 255 255 and this is 255 255 so this is uh, the first uh, the previous string and this is the last string and now all you, all you need to do is use the primitive split set it to the attribute we created remember we created it in here we called it my color just so we promoted it from point to a primitive and then now we can use this attribute to split our geometry. So let's make a last last comparison. So this is uh, we just uh, if if we just uh, promote this is just if we promote the numbers. And this is if you promote the strings, so much more cleaner lines. Also, I can show you how it would work if, if you didn't use the hard edges. So, for example, we'll go crank up the soft edge. And uh, you see we now we have a gradient in here. So, okay, everything works now. But once you go to splitting, it it will consider everything as a as a different different color, and you can actually you can actually reduce the number of groups if if you would increase like actually decrease this number. So if we multiply it to ten, we should get much more less groups. So if we compare it with this one, we get uh, a, a little bit less amount of groups. All right, so it's probably for the best that just to avoid it, unless, unless you need it for a specific reason. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.